All praise to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostles, that great millstone that rule well amongst the elect, and blessings and salutations to you elect Akim out there. Alright, uh, what I'm going to title this lesson is, we can't be scared, because in these days that we're in, in the days that we've been in, you know, it's, it's, it's people that are actually scared to teach this word, man. And, and not just those outside of the sector of GMS, it's men that, you know, that have fear inside of them, man. Okay, and the Most High said he didn't give us a spirit of fear. Our, our forefather Paul, when he was teaching or teaching the word and traveling and teaching the word, he didn't have a spirit of fear, man. All right, he was here and there. He was in Phil Philippi, Thessalonica, all right, all these different um, provinces, and he was teaching the word, man, without fear. Okay, so we're supposed to do the same thing, man, and not just put on the front like we ain't scared and deep down inside are scared, man. All right? So with that being said, we give all praises to the Heavenly Father once again. I'm going to go ahead and get started. <clears throat> all right, this is what I want to get first. I'm going to get this, um, of course, in 2 Timothy. This is 2 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 7. It says, For the Most High have not given us the spirit of fear, but a power of love and of a sound mind. And, and the spirit of fear is... A spirit of doubt, man. Lack of faith. Okay, because if you have if you, if you have faith, you're not going to be scared, man. You're going to know that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is going to protect you, all right, from these 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 niggas walking around, from these uh, these devils, these police, all right, and all different types of other things, man. Beast of the earth, all right. You, you're not going to fear, man, because the Most High get, He didn't give us a spirit of fear. He didn't give us a spirit of back backing down, all right. When I say backing down, not as a sense of pride, all right, but a sense of upholding and fighting for this truth, all right? It says, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Be not therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, nor of me, his prisoner. Yeah, because that's, that's another sign of fear too, man. All right, being, being ashamed of the testimony of the Lord. Certain things that, that are said in the scriptures that we are to do, keep in high holy days. All right, saying that we don't get lineups, saying that the Lord only is coming for one one third of the uh, the Israelites, saying that the so-called white man is the devil. All right, saying that gays are going to be put to death. All right, up standing up against Babylon. All right, is the testimony of the Lord, man, because Babylon ain't right, and you're not supposed to be scared to do so. We go out here, we don't, we don't, you're not supposed to care who's watching you. All right, you're not supposed to care who's um. You know who's really, um, who, what people at the end of the day is about caring about what people think about you. And you shouldn't care what people think about you, man. As long as you got the, got the Lord, you got the Lord put them scriptures in you, and you and you doing your work and you doing the work, man. You, you to hell what everybody else thinks, man. As long as you doing it sincerely, you going out there and teaching that word and, and doing what the Lord told you. You're not supposed to be scared of what people think of you. All right. Uh, that's that's all I want to get on that. Um, this is gonna segue right into what I was just talking about, man. This is um the Book of Psalms, chapter fifty six, and verse. Um, I'm gonna start at ten. The point is in eleven. It says, "In the Most High, will I praise His Word." All right, being the Bible, and the Lord will I praise His Word. All right, and the Most High have I put my trust. All right, I will not be afraid what man can do to me. You're not gonna be afraid of what man can do to you out there, man. You standing up for that. You standing up for that word. That's all that matters. All right, and I'm gonna get this. You no, know, because uh, our forefather Paul, man, he wasn't he wasn't scared of what man was gonna do to him, man. He wasn't scared of what man was gonna do to him. I'm going to get this. This is the book of uh, this is the book of Philippians. No, matter of fact, I'm going to just get, get the source, all right? And then I'm going to get the book of Philippians. This is the book of Acts. <clears throat> okay. Salaki. Sixteen. Salaki. Look at Acts sixteen. Okay. 
All right, this is the book of Acts, chapter 16, verse 22. It says, And the multitude rose up together against them, and the magistrates ran off their clothes and commanded to beat them. And when they had laid many stripes upon them and cast them into prison, charging the jailer to keep them safely, who having received such a charge, thrust them into uh, into the inner prison and made, uh, made their feet fast in the stocks. And at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed <clears throat> and sang praises unto the Most High, and the prisoners heard them. And suddenly there was a great earthquake, so that the foundations of the prison were shaken. And immediately all the doors were open, and every uh, everyone's bands were loose. Okay, so they were thrown in prison and beaten for teaching the word, man. All right, they were they were thrown in prison and beaten by the police, uh, by by the uh, the jailers, for teaching the name of the Lord, man. All right, and we are to be the same. We're not supposed to be scared of what these people could do to us, because on the, and according to the book of Matthews, it says that we're not supposed to fear what man can do to us, but the Lord, that can kill the body and the spirit, because man can only physically hurt you. All right, and Paul was a, a great example of how we should be. And to this day, that's how we are when we go out and teach this word. Uh, we, we're supposed to have all all faith that the Most High is watching us, man, and taking care of us, because these people can these people can do anything to you out here. So I'm, I'm gonna get this. Then I'm gonna, um, then I'm gonna shut it off. This is this is um, the precept that goes along with that that same um, that same um, epistle. All right. This is First First Thessalonians chapter two verse one. For ourself, for yourselves, brethren, know our entrance in in unto you that it was not in vain, but even after that we had suffered before. And were shamefully entreated, as ye know, at Philipp Philippi, we were bold in our power to speak unto you the gospel of our Lord with much contention. Because a lot of people is not going to like this word, man. A lot of people is not going to agree with the the um, the presentation of this word or what, what it really means. Okay, so it's going to be contention. It's always going to be a problem with these people because the, mo the Most High put the Spirit on them to, to do so. And we are not to be scared of them people, man. We're supposed to stand up in great boldness according to the book of wisdom of Solomon. All right? So if you got that spirit of fear on you, man, you need to get that off of you. Because that, that's that's um, that's a spirit of doubt, man. A lack of faith. Okay? Um, and that, with that being said, I'm going to give all praises to the Heavenly Father and the Son, being Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Blessings and honors and salutations to you, elect Akim. And double honors to the apostles at Great Millstone. Shalom.